Hello again, viewer. Uh, making hay while the sun doesn't shine, I think is an apt description. Uh, on to later Achaemenid, uh, Persian army, uh, part of the army that uh, would have fought Alexander at uh, Gargamela, etc. Uh, we're looking here at 192 based and painted infantry. 30 cavalry, uh, two camels with eight riders, uh, three chariots with five riders, and in command uh, we've got nine infantry and two cavalry commanders. Uh, now, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, of course, a lot of the um, units in the earlier Archimedes army, uh, in particular the cavalry, uh, skirmishes, etc., could be uh, transposed into this army. Um, and I have included for the time being these Indians over here, where you've got um, some heavy, heavy spearmen, uh, lighter spearmen. Um, Near the medium infantry peltasts and uh, straight uh, archery. Now, perhaps in the future, if I live that long, uh, we might look at expanding this into its own Indian army under Porus, so we can have Indians versus uh, Alexander. Uh, but for the time being, they're part of the later Archimedes. Uh, army. There were Indian troops at Gargamela. Uh, now, of course, whether they were dressed in traditional Indian garb is probably highly problematic. They were probably dressed more like the Persians. Um, but yeah, who knows for colour. Uh, this army does have one thing. I've got 16 Indian um, archers to complete, uh, to finish this complete collection. Uh, a lot of the things I said on the previous video about painting, etc., etc., um, apply, of course, just as much to this army as to the early Archimedes army, i.e., don't try and put too much detail on the figures. Um, regarding, I'll just come over here. Regarding these uh, hoplite looking types, um, Kardakis, a lot of debate about how they were armed, how they functioned, etc., etc. Um, now, I arguably could and perhaps should, excuse my arm for a minute, split lows like so, uh, I even pop this and pop, these are eight spare mini fig type figures, pop them in like so. Um, you know, wouldn't go amiss. Might seem strange that the Kardakis have got the sort of fancy LBLM shield designs on them, uh, whereas the guard unit behind it, the Persian guard, um, just have plain shields. Um, but I got myself a copy of DBA3, and apparently that's all they had, just plain shields. So there you go. Again, you can see the development of the uh, basing. Okay, I'll just pause for a second and go to a different angle. To make this army a bit more different, uh, particularly from the early Achaemenid army, uh, I've included things such as uh, Scythians, Scythian horse archers, um, Scythian nobles, heavy cavalry. This army is more cavalry orientated, of course. Uh, some pure archers, uh, Scythian archers. Uh, Warlord Games, these dudes, I think, from memory. Yeah. Come up quite well again you know i'm no shakes as a painter 
but um, yeah, a bit of variety in the colour. Um, I know as per the previous video, just some simple, simple patterns. Um, no need to go overboard. As I say, um, my experience is if you try and put too much detail on these guys, they look a bit like a dog's breakfast. But just a bit of a pattern. I have seen Persian armies just painted up in straight colours. Uh, and they look quite satisfactory but I, I like to put a little bit of a, a pattern on them uh, some of the shields I've had a bash at trying to paint my own shields on some of these Takabara um, yeah, I don't think they've come out too bad some better than others Although generally I, I prefer the LBLM um, transfers. Uh, and obviously, of course, um, that chariot uh, that had the king in it um, could be just as easily used with this army as Darius, um, as opposed to uh, Xerxes or so forth. Got myself a couple of these camels. Uh, now the camels are foundry, I think, or they might be warlord. Uh, I can't recall. Um, the foot people, uh, foot archers, foot people, are new line design. Um, I originally, I just had the camel on the base by itself with the two riders and it looked a bit bare and they were sort of a skirmishy type thing anyway uh, light camelry so uh, put a couple on those a couple of um, extra archer on those just to bulk them out a bit when we get when I get round to doing the Carthaginians for the Punic War I'll do the same with the elephants so I'll put a couple of runners uh, either side um, Okay, so that's it. Um, late Archimanded army. Uh, this army, of course, uh, those of you with a bit of knowledge of history will know the one thing that's massively missing from this is, of course, Greeks. Um, later Archimanded armies uh, did use a lot of Greek mercenaries, uh, which, of course, would be unashamedly pilfered from the first video I did on my 28mm Greeks. Uh, okay, uh, we'll leave that there. I might go for a brief sort of shot over from the back. Um, next stop uh, is the Macedonians, uh, which have come to a bit of a grinding halt. Okay, just a quick overview. Hang on to your... Without your seasickness tablets. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, on to the Macedonians next.